just that physical as well? Does it matter? Even if you know what they can do, like you just got to mono a mono and knock him back? Yeah, I mean, it just comes down to who wants it more when you're dealing with a player like that. Like I said, he can do it all, so you just kind of got to read your keys and play ball. With all the hype this defense has gotten this offseason and training camp, how excited are you to finally kind of put it to the test and get out on the field together on Sunday? I mean, there's not really much hype. We just got to go out and do what we do. We know how good we can be, but it doesn't matter about he say, she say. We just got to go out and show it. What are the expectation levels in your, in your perspective? No expectations. We're just taking it one week at a time. I know a division game's always going to be big, but I mean, especially with people like Cook and Jefferson and Thielen, how good of a test is this week one? Yeah, they got some talented players, you know, even at the quarterback position. Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback. He knows how to get the ball out of his hands quick. So it's going to be a tough challenge, like I said, especially with a, a new offense. We don't really know what they expect. So we just got to go out, read our keys, and and just play ball. Does it look, might look a little like your offense, you know, considering where he came from? Uh, yeah, I think it definitely will look a lot like our offense, but they have a different set of skilled players, so you have to prepare differently. That game in Minneapolis last year where Minnesota won, mm -hmm. what was the issue that day? Was it something they were doing? Was it something y'all weren't doing as a defense? Uh, no, nah, they just played better than we did that day. It happens. It's the NFL, you know? Like, sometimes you just get out, get out played. How challenging are weeks like this one? You know, as you said, you're not 100% sure what you're going to get out of Minnesota just in terms of the preparations and getting ready for the game. Like I say, the most challenging thing is just kind of knowing what they expect, but we can't really focus on that. We just have to prepare with the information that we have. And like I said, the first couple series are kind of just going to be reading your keys and playing ball. And we'll, we'll kind of know after about a quarter what they expect, so we can go from there after that. Takes to shake off the rust? I wouldn't say rust, but it's a new a new offense, not the same coordinator and, and coach that they had last year. So there's always gonna be changes and new new loopholes you gotta go through. That practice you guys had last Wednesday it was a game like situation. How can that kind of be a benefit as you head into week one? I know it's a week and a half removed by the time Sunday rolls around, but do you see that as kind of helping you guys get ready? Um I feel like I'm always ready. I'm, I mean, I'm not like everybody else, but I feel a uh, coach felt like we needed that game like atmosphere. I definitely feel like it had its perks to it, but I feel like I'm always ready. What do you say to Quay to get him ready? He don't need much talking, man. He's ready to go. He comes from a championship program. He played in big games. You know, it's football. He's been playing football his whole life. Ain't nothing different. Just go out and be you. You're here for a reason. It didn't take you long last year, obviously, to, to make a name for yourself in this defense. But now that you're here for a second season, do you do you feel like a, a different player at all? Like, just, is there anything that feels different for you now that you're, now that you're back to run the show again? No, nah, only difference is I've had a lot more time with my teammates than I had last year. You know, I had like one day of mandatory mini camp and then training camp, and it was the season. So having a full off season to kind of hang around each other more, especially with a lot of, you know, the world going back to normal. We get to hang out a lot more, so that's probably the biggest difference.